Hey there, folks. Thought I'd drop uh, drop this on you for a minute or two about Letter Creator. There's a lot of mystery behind that. This is uh, from Incredmail. Incredmail's Letter Creator. And just give you, uh, I'm not going to go through everything, but I'll give you a good idea here what's going on. Uh, let's see, if you're opening up uh, for the first time, we'll open up a new folder. Probably you want to uh, name a folder. We'll name one, uh, let's see, new, new folder. We'll give it a minus sign and test. How's that? And I'm going to rec I'm going to copy that because we're going to use it in another place too. But that's our, going to be our new folder. And let's see, I'm going to go to the finish here and enter this folder name in. I copied it, so you can type it in again, but it has to be exact what you want to what you want to use, of course. And the body. Let's see. Let's do the header first. We've got all these tabs here. Do the header. And image is where we go to hunt down what we're going to put in our header. Normally, this is made in uh, Paint Shop Pro. Your header is. But uh, I've already done that. Like I said, I'm not going to give you a whole course here. We we'll use that for a header there. My pretty face. And there's a couple things here. Uh, if I left click on that, you can see it gives the little boxes there. The little nodes. And we can go and center it. If you don't do that, uh, it could be cockeyed when you put when you uh, go to use it in the Incredimail. So you left click on it, get those nodes shown, and then go here and click that center to center it. And on the body, let's see, we got a got a bunch of options here. This is uh, kind of mainly why I want to show you here. Uh, we can choose uh, background colors, like. Uh, whatever just choose a color say okay and that will make the background that color and we could also use the eyedropper instead let's say I wanted it green like that is or maybe the color of my face and you can use this eyedropper anywhere you want to anywhere where you see a color and it changes this background to that color which is pretty cool I think and we have another choice here. Uh, you can clear this out if you want to go back to nothing or white. Let's see, we make background tiles in Paint Shop Pro, and sometimes you want to do that. I didn't make a pretty one, I just made one for the demo here. And you can see it just put that one block up, but if we tile it, it stacks the same image on top of itself over and over again and uh, you can see that's uh, applied it there and uh, let's see what else can we do here in the uh, footer we can uh, we could type something like I'll say um, Hootie Tuts because that's that's like my home base is Hootie Tuts and let's say center and I can add a link to this by clicking on link and then typing in uh, uh, whatever I want there. So we'll say hootietuts.com. And that will make that active. And let's see, I can scroll down. And there it's added Hootie Tuts at the bottom, which would be the footer section. And you see how. The cursor changes to a hand when it hits there. That means that's active as a link. And I could go to Hootie Touch by left clicking on that. But that would come up on your letter uh, once you saved it. And you can do images the same way by highlighting it and then clicking the link on it. Let's go back to the body here. Um, here's where you choose what text, uh, what font you want to use. 
I just have one in mind because that's all I use is just that one font but here you can choose uh, what size you see it change it over here I got the show sample text checked if it's not checked it doesn't show it so you have to have that checked in order to see it I, I leave that on all the time practically and uh, let's see you can choose same thing with the eyedropper you can change the color of your font whatever you want it to be and uh, do it the same way you can click here to do the same thing just like we did for the background and link color remember we added this link down here uh, we can change the link color to whatever we want move around here maybe I want it as yellow and it gives it you know we added this one down here but it already has a link in the sample text to help you set it up and signature color I can change that to whatever color you want and yeah I'm just going to keep it black let's see margins uh, let's see you usually don't have to change those the line space and 19 seems to be good for the line space and uh, margins you might change this for like a uh, top borders some top borders and uh, side borders but like I said I'm not going to give you a whole course on this I'm going to run through this pretty good then unfinished you give it uh, let's see a name whatever you want it to be uh, say test test one and collection name that will tell you where you, what folder you want to save it in and that's the folder that we made it and uh, type letter or you can make it e card most people just do the letter and let's see down here oh you can add add links or stuff on here if you want but uh, to save it I always save to the left first this saves it, your letter creator and we have to look up here that's not the folder we want to save it in this is the folder we want to save it in so we go to it and then click save and we say OK and then you add it to Incredimail by left clicking on that and sometimes that cursor won't go all the way across slow it will start like a quarter of the way over and then go over and sometimes it doesn't save correctly like that so usually I click to add to Incredimail twice to be sure it goes all the way across that bar does and that's how you save it I hope this helps you like I said I'm not going to go through all of it it's a lot of stuff to go through everything but uh, that's a good start on it hope you like that come and visit us at hootytouch.com and subscribe to me here uh, keep up with what's going on and talk to you later this is Hootie saying see ya